Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know about you, but I cannot wait for the world to get back to normal and to be able to travel again. So I thought I would do a little video um, where I help you prepare for that by sharing my seven best photography spots from one of my favorite countries in the world. And that is New Zealand, the South Island. So let's get into it. The South Island of New Zealand is just one of those amazing places where as you're driving around, around every corner is basically a picturesque um, scene and you just want to stop and take photos constantly. I've been to New Zealand about five times now just because the scenery is so stunning and I can't help myself but go back every year. I like to do camper vanning trips when I'm over there and I'll do a video about cheap ways that you can explore the South Island of New Zealand in a coming up video, so make sure you subscribe to my channel for that one. I've been to New Zealand in all seasons and each season is beautiful in its own way. I love going over there in winter when the mountains are covered in snow. So let me take you through my best photography locations. So I usually fly into Christchurch because it's quite cheap to fly into there, grab my camper van and head straight to Lake Tikapo. This is a beautiful aqua coloured lake with um, beautiful mountains surrounding it. So there's usually snow on these mountains most of the year. So it's a really pretty scene um, as you can see in these photos. There's a caravan site there right on the lake. So it's just one of those beautiful spots that you can spend a few days. There's also hotels and things around. There's a few cafes that you can eat at as well. Tikapo is one of my favorite spots. There's the Church of the Good Shepherd here as well, which is really famous. There's always people in this spot and it's a great location for astrophotography as well. So capturing the Milky Way above the church with the lake in the background is a really beautiful photo that you can get there. The next location that I usually head to is Lake Pakaki, um, which is further down the island from Tikapo. Um, it's probably oh, like a 45 minute drive from Tikapo and it's at the base of Mount Cook. So um, I have camped here overnight um, with some free camping, which was awesome as I woke up to this incredible sunrise um, the next morning. And the water here is even more aqua blue than it is at Lake Tikapo. And these mountains in the background here are some of my favorite mountains on the South Island of New Zealand. The third location and probably my favorite um, is Mount Cook. Um, this is such a temperamental place to photograph as the weather here is constantly changing. I've been to New Zealand five times and I think I've only gotten good weather here once. I've camped out for a few days and generally just did not get any photos at all because it was just snowing, rain, wind the entire time. So you've got to get lucky to get a good shot of Mount Cook because it's usually covered in cloud or snowstorms and things like that. There is a really cool um, holiday park that you can stay at here if you're camping. Um, otherwise, there's accommodation in the town of Mount Cook. And this is a great place to go hiking and exploring as there's lots of beautiful tracks into the mountain. Um, and there is a few lakes um, in around this area as well. So Tasman Lake is a great spot for sunrise. And there's also Hooker Lake as well, which is a bit further on which is another great spot for either sunrise or sunset. So there are um, some nice little walks that you can do during the day or if you want to capture sunrise or sunset. Uh, the next spot on our tour of the South Island of New Zealand is Wanaka. So that's kind of the next town down. This is a gorgeous little ski town. And I think this is probably the place I'd like to live if I was going to move to New Zealand. <coughs> Do there. 
How was your run, Larissa? Huh? How was your run? Amazing. Amazing. There's the famous Wanaka tree, which is in the lake that um, everyone photographs. And usually there's a hundred people around the tree at sunrise and sunset trying to capture a photo of it. But sometimes you can get lucky like a few years ago and get no one in the photo. So it, there's another picturesque lake um, in this little town with snow-capped mountains behind it. There's usually snow on the mountains all year round as well. So springtime is another beautiful time to explore New Zealand. Also autumn as well, um, you get the beautiful um, golds and reds coming through in the trees. So basically any time of year that you go to New Zealand is going to be beautiful. Also in Wanaka, um, there's this really cool walk that you can do up to Roy's Peak, um, which is a really steep walk. Um, but I did it. It was one of the most difficult things that I ever did. But I was so proud when I got to the top and the views from up there are incredible. Just overlooking um, all the lakes and the mountains and things like that, as you can see in this photo. Okay, the next um, spot, um, Queenstown. I can't do this video without mentioning Queenstown. It's probably my favorite place in New Zealand, my favorite little town. There's just so much there to do and see. Heaps of adrenaline activities, heaps of awesome cafes, places to eat. There's a beautiful lake. Um, there's a few photographic locations nearby. Um, but generally, I like to stay in Queenstown and do the drive from Queenstown to Glenorchy, which is one of the most beautiful drives in the world. And Qu uh, Glenorchy is a gorgeous little town um, at the end of that road. Um, it's a, just a quiet little town, but there's this gorgeous jetty um, at the end and a really good spot for sunrise. Um, just a quaint little peaceful town. On the way, there is an old jetty um, that you can see in the lake um, to the right as you're driving towards um, Glenorchy. There's Wilson's Bay is another great photographic spot. And just the views um, on the drive are just stunning. So you've got to make sure that you do that drive um, if you're in Queenstown. So the drive from Queenstown to Glenorchy and you'll just want to stop everywhere and take photos, especially at sunset when you're getting colors in the sky. You can also free camp along the way um, as well, but I'll tell you about that in my next video. Um, so the next one, number six, is Milford Sound. So it's a bit of a drive to Milford Sound, but it is one of, another one of those stunning drives. Um, it takes about four hours from Queenstown because um, you have to go back up to Wanaka and head west from there. And the drive is just beautiful. You'll want to stop everywhere along the way. There's waterfalls flowing down the side of massive fjords. And it's just stunning. When you get to Milford, there is obviously this famous spot on the lake where you can take photos of the mountains reflecting in the water. If it's a nice calm day, you can do tours from Milford Sound as well, um, out into the fjords and, see the beautiful mountains. If it's been raining, there'll be waterfalls flowing down those mountains as well. So Milford is definitely another um, one to add to the list of places to see and photograph. And lastly, Lake Matheson. This is one of those places that is really kind of long to get to, but it's well worth it once you're there. Um, it's famous for its calm, still waters that reflect reflect Mount Cook um, perfectly. Um, you need to get lucky here with the weather as well. And being on the west coast of New Zealand, it's also, it's always a bit dicey as it gets lots of rain and wind. The first time I visited Lake Matheson, the mountains were completely clouded over and I didn't think I was going to get any good shots, but luckily I hung around and just as the sun was going down, the clouds cleared and revealed um, a picturesque view of the mountains reflecting in the water as you can see in this photo. Okay, and so that brings us to the end of the video. Fingers crossed we can all start traveling again soon and get back to beautiful places like New Zealand. 
I hope this video was helpful and that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you again next week for another video. Bye!